Well, we're getting close to our end destination here on the Wayne train and coming up today to big away games. First up, Liverpool in the Premier League and then Manchester City in the first leg of a Champions League semi-final. Welcome to episode number 41 of The Wayne Train here on Sean Does FM with Plymouth Argyle. I hope you're doing well and as I said coming up today to big away games Liverpool in the Premier League and also Man City in the first leg of our Champions League semi final So if you're looking forward to those two games coming up then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated, but off the back of the end of last week, we played the second leg of our Champions League quarterfinal against Roma. The Wayne Train had a standout performance before we then took on Newcastle in an FA Cup semi. If you missed that episode, I'll leave a link to it over in the top right corner. Obviously, did fresh Roma and also just did enough to get past Newcastle and make a second straight FA Cup final, which will be later this week, a rematch of last year. When we do take on Arsenal, off the back of that, just one game that we have played in the Premier League. And thankfully, we did pick up the points away at the London Stadium. Wayne Rooney's West Ham have been struggling ever since he declared his interest in the Man United job, which he did not get. And thankfully, despite the fact that stats-wise, this game was actually pretty even, we walked away with a 3-0 win. Late goal in the first half to Facundo Farias, and then some late goals in the second half to Arno Bando and Pizarro, our two starting strikers in this game, to decide to give some of our usual starters a bit of a rest in this one. And thankfully, it did pay off keeping the players who needed the game time on the field for this one. And they picked up a convincing win, which does mean we are still on top of the Premier League with a game in hand over Arsenal, Chelsea and Liverpool, our first opposition. In today's episode, I'm pretty sure at this stage now, are the only teams who can catch us with five games left in the season. We have a three-point gap over Arsenal and a couple of points back, two further points back to both Chelsea and to Liverpool. So if you can pick up at least a draw from this first game of today's episode, that would keep us in a nice spot on top of the table. But if we do lose this, Liverpool would get themselves right up to second. And that would make things interesting, even though we would still be two points clear of them and have that game in hand. And second up, we then take on Man City, who to be fair, aren't having that good of a season in the Premier League, but did beat Real Madrid to make their way through to the final four of the Champions League. So a team that definitely does need to be respected. But first up, we take on Liverpool. And we did beat these guys earlier in the season at home park. We'll just go up and find out where that was. And it was in late August, so quite a while ago now. But of course, that was two late goals from the Wayne train of all people to big ones there to cancel out a McAllister first half effort. And we picked up a 2-1 win at home park. Of course, that was before. In December, we did switch to that standard defensive line, which since then has really helped us be a lot more consistent with our form. But with this one being away at Anfield, this could be one of the tricky ones we do have in our run home alongside. Off back of the second leg of the Champions League semi-final, we also take on City this time in the Premier League. That could be interesting, especially if it's quite close going in to that second leg of that Champions League semi-final. But first up, hopefully we can pick up a decent result here away at Liverpool before we turn our attention to the Champions League. And we'll come back shortly and get stuck into this big clash from Anfield. And here are the team sheets for this big Premier League clash at Anfield. There are Liverpool in good form and going with a pretty strong looking 4-3-3. Harvey Elliott out with an injury, but to be fair, not too sure if he'd be a starter in terms of us. Christensen at left back. We've also got Randall over Som because some players on a heavy workload trying to give them a rest before that Champions League semi, which I think is just going to take a bit more of our attention at the moment. Also, still missing some odds, which coming back from those sprained wrist ligaments. So Omar Lagic can start at right wing and Farias out left. But apart from that, full strength. And hopefully we can take something away from this difficult trip to Anfield. And just show the 10 minute mark first highlight in this game might be in our favour if thrown inside of the final third. Will be a poor touch there from Christensen. Does allow Liverpool to make their way out from back. Will be a poor pass there and Dest can now look to get us here on the attack. Nice and early will be a great here. Robs him of the ball. So a bit sloppy there early from us, which is not ideal in a big away game. And Guayhi 
makes his way strongly down that left-hand side. Now, Luis Diaz squares that one back for Bubakar Kamara, the defensive midfielder he's being played as at Liverpool, and he scores an early counter-attacking goal, and that is a really frustrating one. Both our wing-backs there just very guilty of being sloppy on the ball first, Christensen off the back of that throw-in. And then, once we got it back, Serginho Des for some reason, despite the fact that early on, he found himself in a ton of space. Loose touch to give the ball to Guayhi. Big hand in that goal. And we are down 1-0 early at Anfield. And it's taken a little while for the next highlight in this game. About halfway through the first half at Liverpool this time. Do have a throw in. Luis Diaz puts that one into the mixer. It's a mess at the back from our centre-backs. And Alexis McAllister yet again looks like he will score against us in the Premier League. Need the replay of this one because didn't actually see what happened there. But he found himself in a ton of space. And unfortunately, he was onside. And this could be a very interesting result, which does open things up. Now, Diaz floats that one to the mixer. And I think that's Diamonde with a missed here. But nonetheless, some poor work there at the back. And we're 2-0 down, just shy of the half-hour mark. And just making our way into the last 10 minutes of this first half, and this has been a pretty awful first half from us, so because of that, we're going to try something which has worked recently when we've been struggling in games, but if our wingbacks can go on to attack, we'll try it early, try and come back and get something out of this game. It could go bad, but hopefully it works, and also we'll go wider and attack and see if that can help us come back from two goals down. And unfortunately, those changes didn't do anything in the later stages of the first half. It was a really poor one from us there. Two goals conceded to Kamara and to McAllister. The beefy everyone out there is on a poor rating. So don't think any changes here are going to help us too much. We'll try and get these guys to rev up a bit more in the second half and hopefully find a way to try and grab two goals to take a point here away from Anfield. And thankfully, early highlight here in the half might be in our favour as we have a free kick down that right-hand side. Des plays that one back to Diamonde. Now Scott forward to the Wayne train. Bit of a poor pass there though looking for Christensen. And Alison Becker, I think that was, can clear it. But thankfully, Dest will recover. And actually, good work there from Olagic to get in behind. Picks out the Wayne train. Tight angle. And of course, Becker comes up with a good save. That would have been a really good start there to the first half. Much needed an early goal. But unfortunately, Becker with the save. Now, Omelagic with a big hand and try and create that one. Has a corner. But unfortunately, some short passing doesn't quite work out well for us. Parola on the retreat will get that ball back for us. But unfortunately, the Wayne train... Big chance, doesn't quite put it away, and we're still 2-0 down. And on the hour mark now, I think it's time for us to try and make some subs, because a couple of players have got worse off the back of halftime. Also, there you can see what that does for the Premier League table. Liverpool, just two points behind us now. Some players are on six-point freeze and lower. So Christensen, he can come off for Jacob Graves. Also, Facundo Farias will take him off. For Sarawi, and as well as that, the Wayne train unfortunately had that chance early in the second half, didn't take it. Damian Pizarro can come on for him with a half hour left. We're still 2 0 down. And now, about to make our way into the last 20 minutes of this game, and it's time for us to make our last couple of substitutions. Still a couple more players out there who are struggling. We're going to take off here Alex Scott or Tom Bischoff, who's been in pretty good form recently, and also Nicola Iliev, rather really struggling on a 6.3. Eleanor Bando can come on for him, and also. We'll try and be more expressive, see if that helps us out late in this one, as it looks like we're going to suffer our first defeat in the Prem for quite a while. Albeit only a few minutes off the back of telling our guys to be more expressive, there is a highlight here in good work there from Randall, win that ball back for us nice and high up the field. Hopefully we can keep hold of it. Darwin Nunez there being a pest, but thankfully somehow we do keep that ball. Now Dest plays it in there to Omar Lagic. It somehow finds its way to Osama Salawi, open at the far post, Virgil van Dijk there, I think just missed the ball clean when trying to clear it. And that should make it 2 I'm pretty sure he was onside. And this might just give us a chance to try and rescue something here from Anfield, which could be quite big in the title race this season. Thankfully, the goal was awarded to Genio Dest. He finds here on Malagic, does quite well to keep that ball. And then Pizarro is tightly marked, but no one gets on the ball. It falls to Sarawi open at the far post. He puts it away, and we're back in this one, 2-1 down, with only 15 minutes left. And in fact, as I say that, there's a highlight here at the 78-minute mark. Now, Parola is on the ball, plays that one forward to Bischoff, albeit a bit slow on it. And a chance now for Liverpool as Diogo Jota wins that one back for the Reds. Now, Gakpo plays that one back. Kamara just outside the box. That one comes off the post. Actually, a good challenge there from Dest, I think it was, to make sure 
He didn't get a clean sight of goal, but thankfully, still only one goal down. And about to make our way into the last five minutes of this game, we are still trailing by a goal. So because of that, we're going to chuck now Randall onto support as that ball winning midfielder. And also we might try something a bit funky here with our centre backs as well. Just see if they can do some roles that are a bit more positive. And to be fair, Diamonde is not too bad as a libero. We might try it out here in this situation. Also Parola, not too bad either. So we'll try two liberos at the back, Randall on support and also a Tello goalkeeper to distribute the ball more quickly. And also might just try that higher defensive line for these last couple of minutes to see if it can help us grab an equaliser. And making our way now to the late stages of this game, so far those changes haven't done anything, albeit about to for free kick here. Omar Lagic takes this one short. Sarawi, Becker comes out for it, doesn't get there. And Osama Sarawi with a double off the bench and we make it two all off the back of that. I think we're going to go back to the roles that we previously had, especially for those centre-backs. Not really too sure if the liberos made much difference there, but a point here at Anfield, actually quite a good result. We'll now tell our guys to not be so expressive. Start to time waste just a little bit. Also be more disciplined. Slow down that tempo, because I do think a point from this game after being 2-0 down is quite good. Tell the goalkeeper to not distribute quickly and also just drop back to that standard defensive line, but that is a huge double off of the bench from Osama Sarawi. Made a couple of changes during that second half, and thankfully, looks like they might do the business, albeit still four minutes of added time, but interesting free kick that one going short. Becker comes out for it, thankfully doesn't get there before Sarawi does, puts it away bottom right corner, that makes it two all, and that will change that table quite significantly if it does update, unfortunately it doesn't now, it does though, that does mean still four points clear of Arsenal, five points clear of Liverpool, and with that game in hand, but thankfully, Omar Lagic and Sarawi come up big for us there, inside of those last 20 minutes, and pick up two late goals to mean, we escape from Anfield with a point, a big point as well, as you saw before from that Premier League table, hopefully that gives us just a little bit of confidence Going into the first leg of our Champions League semi-final, when we take on Manchester City. So a couple of technical tweaks there mean that we do quite well to come back from 2-0 down and pick up a point there at Anfield. And that's made all the better by the fact that Arsenal have also dropped points a little bit surprisingly at home against Southampton. So now three points clear of those guys with that game in hand. Back to the situation as it was prior to that match day. But these days, we've got four games left in the season. Arsenal only have three, so they're starting to run out of time quite rapidly. And also, just down below from that a little bit more, Chelsea lose to Sunderland at Stamford Bridge. That might just be enough for them to no longer be in the title race. Of course, our last three games in the Premier League are against City, then Aston Villa, but then Brentford. So at least one of those games does look very winnable. And also, I've got one more, and that is against Everton. That's coming up off the back of our first leg of this Champions League semi so two quite wonderful games and amongst those last four that might just be enough for us to make sure that we can pick up the title so thankfully the results in those other games in the Prem have fallen in our favour and hopefully we can do a decent job here away at the Etihad against Man City albeit they come into this game Erling Haaland and John Stones back from injury unlike the ones that they were carrying the last time we took them on in the FA Cup quarterfinals, and they also beat Sheffield United 5-0 with Haaland scoring four goals. So that's a little bit ominous if Erling Haaland is in that type of form. It does mean now they might find themselves getting into the Champions League next season through their league position if they can hold on over an Aston Villa team with a game in hand. But so far this season, our record against City has actually been pretty decent, as I said earlier, beat them in the FA Cup quarterfinal, and before then, if we go back to when we took them on in the Premier League at home park quite early in the season, that was a one-all draw. So, so far, they've not suffered defeat against City this season. Hopefully, that will not change. Also, Pep Guardiola starting to be under a little bit of pressure in charge of City as well. So a win here could mean he will find himself in a little bit of danger of losing his job. But no doubt they might wait until after the second leg of this Champions League semi-final and maybe also that Premier League clash, which could be quite important as well, but we'll come back shortly and hopefully 
pick up a decent result as we take on City in the first leg of the Champions League semis, especially as we look there top right, considering that De Bruyne is out suspended and Ruben Diaz has a lower back stress fracture. And here are the team sheets for the first leg of this Champions League semi-final. Rather surprisingly, Ruben Diaz is staying despite the fact he's still suffering somewhat from that lower back stress fracture. But of course, De Bruyne are missing with that suspension there going with a 4-1-4-1. There we are, Mosquera comes in for Serginho Dest, always quite injury prone and is on a heavy workload. Also changing our wings, Whitaker out right and Erin Kunder out left. But apart from that, same team that took part in that Liverpool game where they came back late and grabbed a 2 all draw. Hopefully can pick up a similar result here at the Etihad to take back the home park for tomorrow's episode. And just past the halfway point of the first half, we finally get the first highlight of this game in City. They are on the ball so far, just one shot in this game. It was on target, it was to the home team, but we didn't see it. But good work from us there to win the ball nice and high. And Ilyev with an early chance, but that's a decent save there from Edison to keep that one out of the back of net, albeit was from a tight angle. But nil all halfway through the first half and our first highlight, not a bad one. Now a corner Diamonde nearly gets on the end of that one. Parola plays it back to Whitaker, tries to put that one top left corner. Not a bad effort, but unfortunately Edison does make a decent save. Still nil all at the Etihad. And not too long off the back of that yet again, we are on the attack, but unfortunately that time not a good ball looking for Ilyev up front and City. They can win this one and Rodrigo plays that one forward to Jamal Musiala. Now Phil Foden, he is on the ball. Some real superstars, of course, in the City team. Would be interesting to see if they all stayed, if Pep did get the sack, but they keep the ball nicely here in Kovacic. Plays that for two Bernardo Silva. Nice ball over the top there for Erling Haaland. Big chance as well. Tobias came out. Didn't quite get there, but might have just made himself enough of a presence to make sure that Haaland hits the post. That's a bit of a get out of jail. Free card for us there. Haaland bearing down on goal. Does not put it away, especially having just scored four against Sheffield United. But right off the back of that, from a from Rodrigo with a wonderful curving effort from just outside the box. Does put that one away and makes it 1-0 to City. Could cope with that going into the second leg, but anything worse might be difficult because I think City so far toughest team that we've played in the Champions League knockouts but that is a very good strike that from Rodrigo nice bit of curve on that one bent it like Beckham and we go 1-0 down and that was it for the first half we did have a couple of decent chances there from that first highlight but off the back of that a good chance to Harlem which came off the woodwork but unfortunately off the back of that Rodri did it score now we are going to make a couple of subs here at halftime Mosquera on a yellow card we will take a bit of a risk here and bring on Dest for him. And also Morgan Whitaker not doing too well. Samadzic is on the bench for this one. Not quite on a full green heart. But we'll see what he can do also. We might just go a bit wider in attack like we did in that Liverpool game. But this time not being so far behind. Our wing backs can stay on support. And we'll see if that will help us. Grab an equaliser. Get the second half underway. 1-0 behind. And making our way now up to the hour mark. No highlights so far in the second half. It's time for us to make a few more changes. Some people out there still struggling. Good areas can come on for Chris Johnson at left back. Also Bischoff for Scott on a red heart in the DLP. And Aliyev not doing too well again either. Obando will come on for him. Still 1-0 down with 30 minutes left. And just making our way into the last 20 minutes of this game. And unfortunately still no highlights in the second half. Used all our subs and so far doing very little in terms of attack in this game so because of that we are going to put our wing backs on attack and just see if that does anything also tell our guys as well to be more expressive so doing those things that we did late in that Liverpool game hopefully it pays off again but City here with a chance on the counter attack they have the ball here just outside the box and Kovacic there with a shot thankfully just goes wide of the post we are still only 1-0 down and with just over 10 minutes left in this first league away from home, finally another highlight here which might be in our favour. Haven't hit one of these since that opening highlight. The Wayne train gets on the end of that one. Edison comes to claim it. Doesn't get there, but it comes off the woodwork. That was a big chance there for the main man of the save. But unfortunately, unlike against Roma at the end of last week, this time can't quite hit the target. We are still 1-0 down. Hopefully that doesn't prove too costly. Thankfully that pass from Parola does find Obando and the Wayne train actually slots through there. Samadzic takes it around Edison. He makes up for that big miss before. Picks up an assist. Now off the back of that, we're going to do what we did late in that Liverpool game. Just tell our guys this time not to be so expressive. I think we could potentially still actually push on and try and grab a winner. Because we do tend to be playing well at the moment. 
when we do put these wing backs onto attack. Both games in today's episode, that has been a big difference maker, but nice little counter attack there. And Samadzic, despite the fact he's still carrying that injury, playing in a cast on that arm, puts that one away already down to a red heart, and that does make it one all. And just thinking here, might not be the worst idea just to see if we stay more expressive, if we can try and grab a winning goal from this game. 2 1 going into that second league at home park would be quite nice, but also 2 1 down would not be the worst thing either as we make our way into four minutes of added time. Nothing happening. It's a one all draw at the Eddie Hard. I'm quite content with that. Just played with things late just to see if we could grab a winning goal, but I'll take a draw considering those stats are well and truly in favour of the home team. The Wayne Train, he picks up an assist for that late Samajic goal before then had a very good chance to score a goal, which potentially could have ended up being a winner, albeit not too sure then if Samadzic would have scored the goal only a few minutes later. But to be fair, City also can feel like they probably could have scored more goals, Haaland in particular, in the first half with a big chance that came off the woodwork. But just like us, shortly off the back of that, they scored through Rodri. And as I said, quite content with that. One all heading into the second leg of the Champions League semi-finals back at Home Park in tomorrow's episode. So a decent result there from that first leg of our Champions League semi-final in the other one, Napoli 2-1 ahead over Barcelona. We're interested to see if they can hold on to that lead in the second leg because that is in Spain. So they do take an advantage into the away leg. Man City, not quite so lucky. Hopefully we can make the most of that back at home park and also by that stage as well. Samadzic, he should be fully fit. He's just come back from that injury that he was carrying into that second leg against Man City. So hopefully he might be able to feature from the start having grabbed that big goal to make sure we go into that second leg locked up at one all. Also might be worth just thinking about putting those wing backs onto attack from the start because certainly that made a big difference late in both those games in today's episode. And also maybe just changing some of these instructions, going a bit wider and potentially also telling our guys to be more expressive as well. We'll just see how we get on potentially against Everton before we come back for tomorrow's episode and see if we need to make those changes just to be a bit more on the front foot earlier in these games that we are playing currently against the big teams. But that will do it for today's episode. Two draws, but not too bad considering we were 2-0 down at Anfield and 1-0 down quite late. In that, that Champions League semi-final first league, if you enjoyed today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. Obviously tomorrow we'll come back, play the second leg of that Champions League semi-final. If we get through that to the Champions League final, we might also kick on and try and wrap up the Premier League, as there's only three more games in that season off the back of that before the FA Cup final, where we do take on Arsenal. I'd like to think we're going to beat Everton in between now and tomorrow's episode, and I think that means if we can beat one of City, Villa or Brentford, that should be enough for us to secure the title with that game in hand that we do have, and to be fair, Everton and Brentford, two teams based on league position, we should definitely be beating. So I think we'll come back tomorrow, hopefully make our way through to a Champions League final, and also try and lift the Premier League for the first time here at Plymouth Argyle. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.